Now, without any further ado, here's the answer to the question posed in the video earlier. If the ground temperature is 90, well, 90.8, 90 almost 91 degrees Fahrenheit, and the reservoir temperature is 85.6, or almost 86 degrees, if the top of the um, grow um, of the living wall temperature when the water enters is 82 degrees, how is it, and this has nothing to do with shade, that it's 65 on the roots? Well, that's simple, my friends. Heat dissipates. Heat molecules weigh, uh, heat on water molecules, hot water molecules weigh a lot less. So as this acts as a radiator, with you see one emitter right there, they go all the way down on the top. This acts as a radiator. So with our slight wind always blowing from this angle in this east facing wall, also our bricks do not um, reflect heat. So it doesn't bear any difference on the temperature of this rig. What we've done is we've utilized our surroundings so that they work for us. So this system is going to thrive. And in the same way you guys can do it at home. I'd like to say, think of a car radiator, something of that concept, how it moves through. Or thinking of a, a heat condenser on a, I think it's a heat condenser, is it called? Whatever it is um, on um, a computer board to keep the heat down. This acts in the same way, except it's fabric. It's fabric. Now, I can't go into any more details than that. I've already said a little bit too much about the science behind the system. But you guys see it. The ground temperature, 91, 92-ish. Here's our reservoir. The temperature inside the reservoir, because it's covered, the water is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. When the water comes up to the top and gets emitted through a series of water emitters, 83, something is 84 degrees, but as it travels through this fabric pot, which acts as a radiator to dissipate the heat, the hot water molecules, how cool is that, guys? We end up with 69, ah, that's a funny one, 68, go up. How cool is that? That's just a little bit of science, guys. And living in the desert and living in arid climates like this, especially with these horrible, horrible hot summers, this comes in handy. We don't have a chiller. We're not using ice. We're not using a water cooler. Another reason why, and also because I know this is an extended video, but this is a one take. This isn't a whole bunch of clips put together. The broader the canopy is for the plants, the more they're going to protect the roots because that's the first thing that these plants want to do. These leaves want to grow out to protect the roots so they are in essence working with a thought process all together as a team to keep those roots cool now when it comes to the roots in our system the roots just don't grow down the roots grow this way that way this way that way but because our system is only about as thick as a half dollar the roots don't grow all the way out through the back they stop themselves so we end up with predominant energy and just life force put into just the deciduous growth of the leaves and as well as any fruits that we may have on the young plants as well. So it's just giving the plants the best natural environment that you could possibly give them, but in a controlled system. And I know that's an oxymoron, right? It doesn't really make sense and I should have really thought that phrase through, but I wanted you guys to understand how many parts of how many dynamic factors of science are involved in this system? But it's nothing new. I didn't invent this. I didn't even rediscover it. Our ancestors have been doing this for thousands and thousands of years. We just now have fabric pots and I have some time on my hands. And I hope you guys enjoy this. You can do this at home. For the record, this is a 4x4 four four, um, system. If you were to manufacture this, if you were to build this and then do it commercially, these sell for about $145, something like that per square foot. And I just told you how to do it for free. You guys got this. I'm not here to make a profit. I'm here to make a change. I'm here to, free to, I'm here to feed the world. I hope you guys are on the same page with me. Plant that first seed and together we'll grow, my friends. Peace and blessings.